Hey guys, it's Congressman Mike Garcia. Hey, we've been getting uh, dozens, uh, over 100 phone calls on our SoCal gas bill problem. I know many of you have been checking the mail, seeing your bill. It went from uh, $100 to $300 just in the span of one month. This is unsatisfactory. Uh, literally two to three times increase in just one month uh, service plan. So I reached out to SoCal Gas to see if we can get answers from them. They cited three primary examples. One, it got colder this year, sooner. Uh, the second was they didn't have as much storage uh, of gas at the state level, and but but in California they had 100% storage. So I don't think these two answers uh, are, are good enough excuses for seeing a, a doubling, tripling of our gas bills. But the third issue is what they cited as the primary reason for this: the commodity itself, natural gas, has has uh, has itself gone up uh, about 200% from $20 or so uh, per unit to uh, now over $50 back in January. This has come down in the last couple of weeks, so we should see our bills come down as well. They assured me that they're not uh, making profit on that uh, increase in the commodity, that they make profit on the services, the transportation, providing it to our homes. Uh, they are a publicly traded company, so we'll watch that to make sure that they're not taking advantage of that when, in their profit reports and their quarterly earnings. Uh, but the, the biggest disturbance uh, and the reason why the commodity has doubled and gas prices have doubled the way they have from de December to January is a, is a disturbance in a pipeline outside of California. And many of you know that California has laws that prevent us from uh, producing gas in our own state and that we can't bring it in via truck. It's brought in via pipeline and a company called Kinder Morgan uh, has failed to maintain this pipeline properly. They've had some incidents, uh, but they've also done some maintenance that has aggravated this whole problem. So I'm gonna reach out to them, get some answers from them, get some uh, specifics on an estimated completion date for their uh, maintenance and repair work uh, and see how long uh, they're gonna take before they, they get their program together. Why this matters for the summer is even though we use our gas for heat in SoCal, we, we also as a state use gas for energy production on the electrical grid. So this problem doesn't necessarily go away when it, when it uh, starts warming up. We're still gonna see this get reflected in electric bills uh, and, and this is still gonna remain a problem. Couple lessons learned. One, we need to be energy independent. We need, need, need to be as a state, not relying on other states for things like gas. This is, we have the resources uh, within our own state, within our own borders, we should uh, change those policies uh, up in Sacramento. And as a nation, we can't be energy uh, dependent on other countries. We need to be independent as well uh, for the very same reasons. Uh, I'll let you know when I get an update from this Kinder Morgan company, we're gonna reach out to them and get answers. So we are uh, seeing prices come down, so your next bill should start going down dramatically. Uh, we understand this is a huge stress, especially among uh, record high inflation already across the board, record high. Uh, energy prices elsewhere at the pump. Um, the last thing we need is high gas prices. So I'm gonna keep fighting for this. This, uh, this isn't necessarily a federal issue, it's a state issue. Uh, but please keep calling SoCal Gas, call your local elected officials, especially your representatives in California and ask them what can be changed from a policy perspective so that we can become energy independent within California like we deserve. Uh, stand by for updates. Uh, God bless guys, take care.